With over a million downloads, it's safe to say that the Crypto.com app has been taking the world by storm. So, what's all the fuss about and should you bother giving it a try? My name is Guy and in this video I'm going to go over everything that the Crypto.com app has to offer. All that is to help you decide if it's the right choice for you. I'll also be showing you how you can get Bitcoin at a tasty 50% discount and Engine Coin at 25% off. So if you like the idea of a crypto bargain, then this video is for you. Oh yes, and make sure you stick around till the end if you want to hear how I personally use this free app, my thoughts on its shortcomings and whether it's legit or not. Before I th kick things off, there are a few quick things I need to say. I am not a financial advisor, so please be sure to consult your financial chap before you make any moves in the crypto space. With those formalities out of the way, I'd like to welcome anyone new to the channel. I regularly cover different crypto projects, markets, and create useful guides just like this one. So if that sounds like something you want to get involved in, then make sure you bosh that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. That way, the YouTube gods will let you know whenever I release another video. Good to go? Great, let's crack on with Crypto.com. I'm going to start with a bit of an overview of the app. If you'd prefer to skip this, feel free to hop around with the timestamps that I've provided below. The first thing I want to talk about is the app's integrated multi-crypto and fiat wallets. You can find this crypto wallet in the app by opening up the home screen and clicking the little lion guy at the bottom of the screen. Then just tap the wallet tile and you'll be in the crypto wallet section of the app. Here you can store over 60 different cryptos. That's quite a lot of coins and chances are that the cryptos you want to store will be supported here. Unless you take the view that you should get rich or die trying and enjoy prospecting for those exotic never before heard about altcoins. So if this is you then the Crypto.com wallet is frankly not for you and you might want to use a free multi-crypto wallet like Coinomi which supports over 1700 cryptocurrencies. Like pretty much any crypto wallet, you can send or receive crypto. You can do that by smashing the transfer button. Click deposit if you want to send crypto to your crypto.com wallet. Then choose the cryptocurrency you want to deposit. Then you'll see your crypto wallet address to send to. I've selected Bitcoin here, but I think you guys get the point. When it comes to withdrawals, there are two major things I need to be upfront about. The first is that there is a fee to withdraw to non-crypto.com wallets. The problem is that there is no functionality to adjust the transaction speed and fee. Instead, it's set at a flat rate and there is nothing you can do about it. For Bitcoin, this is set at 0 0.0003 Bitcoin, which is just under $3. Yes, that really sucks. So if you're looking for another wallet which gives you that functionality, then you'll want to check out my video right here. Anyhow. Back to how to actually withdraw from the Crypto.com app. In that Crypto Wallet section, you'll need to hit that Transfer button and click that Withdraw button. Then select the type of wallet you want to withdraw to. You'll then be asked to whitelist the wallet address you want to withdraw to. Click the little plus sign in the top right corner. Then just select the crypto you want to withdraw and input that address. Once done, you'll get an email from Crypto.com asking you to confirm and authorize that wallet address. You'll then be able to withdraw to that whitelisted wallet address and all you need to do is key in the withdrawal amount and smash the withdraw button. Oh yes, I nearly forgot to tell you about the Fiat wallet. This allows you to buy crypto with a bank account. In the UK, you can hold GBP, Euro and US dollars within the app. However, I've been told that up to 21 different Fiat currencies are supported, but some of those might be restricted depending on what country you're based in. So. If you're searching for an alternative way to get into cryptocurrency, then you can do that with the Crypto.com app. But what about the fees? The good news is that Crypto.com doesn't charge you a fee for deposits or withdrawals using swift bank transfers to and from the app. The bad news is that your bank may charge you between $6 and $40 for a transaction. So I just wanted to let you know about that so there are no nasty surprises. So what other features does this app have? CryptoEarn essentially allows you to lend out your crypto on the app and earn interest. 
Now, bear in mind that your typical bank account pays out less than 1% interest per year. It's pretty easy to see why so many people are flocking to crypto earn when you can get an annual interest rate as high as 18%. What's important to note though, is that the interest rate for supplying crypto on the app varies according to the cryptocurrency you supply, the lending term, and if you have 500 MCO staked or not. 500 MCO is not cheap and will set you back over $2,500. However, if you have that staked within the app, you'll get an additional interest bonus of 2% on fixed term deposits. So to get that whopping 18% interest, you'll need to have those MCO tokens staked within the app. The other thing to be aware of is that interest rates vary according to the crypto asset you're supplying. With stable coins, you can get up to 12% interest, 18% if you supply CRO, and you can get up to 8% with other assets. So if you're interested in getting the highest interest possible, then you better go with CRO. The final variable is the length of the staking term. The Crypto.com app gives you three different options. Flexible staking is naturally the most flexible plan. It provides a low risk savings solution that allows you to test out the waters and withdraw your coins at any point with no penalty fees. Lock your coins up for one month and you'll be rewarded with more interest and you'll get the maximum interest rate if you commit that crypto to be locked up for three months. On top of all that, you'll get an additional 2% bolted on if you have 500 MCO staked. So that's how you get up to 18% max interest here and one of the reasons why you might want to stock up on some CRO. Now, I know all this sounds amazing. However, you should know that MCO and CRO are both cryptocurrencies issued by Crypto.com. More on that a little later. Another cool feature of this app is the ability to get an instant crypto loan using the crypto credit service. Now, if you're like me and have had to go through the torture of applying for a conventional loan, you'll know that it requires a ton of paperwork and that it's super slow. With crypto credit, there are no annoying credit checks at all, no boring forms to fill in, and it's instant. So what wizardry is this? Well, these loans are over collateralized loans where you can supply Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, MCO, CRO or Litecoin as collateral and get 50% of its US dollar value in stable coins like Paxos, Tether, USDC and TrueUSD in return. Interest rates start at 12% per year. However, you can drop that down to 8% if you're staking 500 MCO coins. Oh yes, another thing you need to know is that the credit duration is 12 months. Now, before you jump right into that crypto lending, it's super important to understand how over collateralized loans work before you consider using them. These types of loans are similar to getting a loan from your local pawnbroker. That's where you take an item like a car, jewelry, or pretty much anything of value to the pawnbrokers and receive a loan based on the value of the item. The pawnbroker might lend you 50% of the value of the item charge you interest, and if you miss your repayments, they might sell your item to recoup the value of the loan. As pawnbrokers always lend you less than the value you're putting up for collateral, the loans they provide are always over-collateralized. Crypto credit in the Crypto.com app works in a pretty similar way. You bring that crypto collateral, which is then locked up, and you receive 50% of that collateral's value in stablecoins. Now, we all know that crypto markets can be super volatile. So it's important to be aware that if the market price of your collateral falls too much, then you'll have your crypto liquidated by Crypto.com to cover the value of the loan. It's very much like a pawnbroker selling an item to cover the cost of the loan that's gone south. In other words, if the crypto price moves against you by 50%, then you could lose the rights to that crypto you've supplied and be left hodling stablecoins. The next app feature I want to talk about is called CryptoPay. And yes, you guessed it, that's all about buying stuff with crypto. One cool thing you can do here is buy gift cards for over 300 brands with Bitcoin, Ethereum, CRO, XRP, and Litecoin. If that wasn't good enough, you can also get up to 10% cashback if you use CRO to buy them. The exact level of cashback depends on a few factors, including what type of gift card you buy, if you have an active fixed deposit term of greater than 10,000 CRO, or if you staked more than 10,000 CRO in the Crypto.com exchange. You can see the breakdown for gift card cashback right here. So if you're like me and have most of your money in crypto, you might find things like Sainsbury's supermarket gift cards particularly useful. 
That's all the more sweeter when you're getting 5% cashback rewards too. And that's not all. CryptoPay also includes something called Airtime, which allows you to top up your mobile phone using crypto, or if you're feeling generous, your friends. The final thing that CryptoPay has to offer is a scanner to allow you to spend your crypto at any supported store. Just scan that QR code and you'll be making that crypto payment in no time. Another neat feature of the app is its crypto tracking function. Now, most people do not know this, but if you click the account button and hit that pie chart in the top left hand corner, then you'll get a nice visual breakdown of all the coins you hold on the app. A pretty cool way to track your portfolio, if you ask me. If you want to make sure you keep your finger on the pulse of the crypto markets, then this app also offers a handy alternative to CoinMarketCap and gives you all that price data for the top cryptocurrencies. You can also click into different coins to see price graphs and more detailed stats. Pretty damn useful. Another great feature here is the price alert function. Hit that bell for any cryptocurrency and you'll get push notifications if there are any major price movements. That means you'll be the first to know if there is a price breakout that you want to trade. Now it's time to talk about the main reason why most people use the Crypto.com app. That would be getting a Crypto.com card. The first thing to know here is that you can only get your hands on one of these crypto cards if you're based in the US, UK, Europe, Canada or Singapore. The second is that they support Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP and MCO. So if you like the idea of being able to spend any of those cryptos using a Visa card, then this is going to be right up your street. The key question though is which one should you choose? There are five different card tiers and if you're interested in knowing all the details about every card, then be sure to watch the video right here. Today I'm just going to go over my top two card picks. After all, I don't think many people would be that interested in learning about the Black Obsidian card which will set you back over a quarter of a million dollars to get. Honestly, I think the Crypto.com blue card is a no-brainer for anyone in crypto. It's completely free and I cannot see what anyone has to lose by ordering one. In terms of perks, you're looking at a not too shabby 1% in crypto cashback on all purchases. One thing to note here is that all cashback is paid in MCO coin. Not that big a deal seeing as it's a top 100 cryptocurrency, with a ton of trade volume and supported by numerous exchanges. So what else can you get with this card? Well, you can withdraw up to $200 per month from an ATM for free. However, be aware that you'll be charged 2% for cash withdrawals over that amount. Pretty ideal for a casual crypto card user. Another thing that's pretty cool is that if you manage to go abroad, you can access interbank exchange rates with a monthly exchange limit of $2,000. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I go on vacation, I shop around for ages trying desperately to get the best exchange rate. That's a thing of the past with this card, as that interbank rate is pretty much going to be the best rate you'll ever get. Not a bad perk at all. Alrighty, here is my favorite crypto card and the one I use personally. That would be the Crypto.com Ruby card. To get it, you'll have to stake 50 MCO tokens in the Crypto.com app. This is just over $250 at the time of shooting this video. The important thing to know is that these tokens are only staked and you can get them back later. So it's a very different situation to annual card fees. Yes, Amex, I'm looking at you guys. So with that barrier to entry, what do you get? Well, right off the bat, your crypto cash back is doubled to 2%. That's honestly more than what Amex used to give back in the day for a ludicrously expensive credit card. You'll also get a free Spotify subscription too. That rebate is paid into your Crypto.com wallet in MCO. What's Spotify worth? Well, in the UK, this will set you back around $13 a month. So in a year, you can expect around $156 worth of value from that free Spotify subscription alone. When it comes to maximizing those cashback rewards, here's my dirty little secret. I personally try and run every possible transaction through this card to really take full advantage of those rewards. So if you're like me and you easily spend $1,000 a month on just existing, then you could have $12,000 in transactions running through the card a year, which equates to about $240 in crypto cashback. All that for simply choosing to leave that filthy fiat card at home. Now, I know this sounds vain, but another thing I really like about this card is that it's made out of metal. I don't know, there seems to be Something super alluring when you slap down a metal credit card to pay that bill. 
What I can almost guarantee is that heads will turn if you flex that metal card. Then again, maybe it was just my dashing good looks. Free ATM withdrawal limits on this card are raised to $400 a month, and you also get access to $4,000 worth of interbank exchange rates per month. So what's the value summary for the Ruby card? In a year, you'll get $156 in value from that for Spotify subscription, 2% in crypto cashback, $50 in free MCO if you use my link to order, and that baller metal Visa card, the value of which I deem to be priceless. After running that through the value calculator, I come to the sum of $446 in value. Not too shabby, if you ask me. So if you want to get that deal, then just use the link in the description below. Make sure you use the code COINBUREAU, order that metal ruby card, and grab that $50. Sign up, pass KYC, and get that 50 MCO staked, and that sweet ruby card will be on its way to Ballerville. Population, you! The last app feature is the trading function. You can access that on the home screen by clicking the trade button, selecting buy or sell, choosing the crypto you want to trade, and executing that order. It's honestly that simple. Okay guys, that is my overview of everything that Crypto.com app has to offer. However, I do want to share a few closing thoughts. The first thing I want to address is whether Crypto.com is legit. I'll be honest with you, there are some out there that believe that Crypto.com could be a giant Ponzi scheme. After all, their crypto credit service offers some of the highest interest rates in crypto. Well, what I will say is this. Crypto.com have been working on building their ecosystem for years. They acquired the Crypto.com domain for over $10 million and have partnerships with the likes of Visa and Ledger. Let's also not forget that your fiat balances are covered by FDIC insurance. So yes, I think it's highly unlikely that Crypto.com is some form of Ponzi scheme. All that being said, there are a few things I don't like about the app. The major one is that the Crypto.com wallet is completely centralized. That means you do not hold your private keys and you're trusting Crypto.com with your funds. Yes, there are rumblings that the team are trying to decentralize all that, but as things stand, it's a centralized wallet. So just be aware of that. I also really dislike the fiat withdrawal fee to withdraw to an external wallet. Yes, Crypto.com is upfront about that, but I don't like that one jot. When it comes to crypto tracking, I need to level with you. There are far better options out there like Delta or Blockfolio. I've actually got a dedicated video for free tools like this right here. Another thing that is blatantly obvious is that Crypto.com is using this app to drive the demand of their MCO and CRO tokens. Basically, to unlock any worthwhile features, you'll need to get your hands on some. Yes, I understand that token utility is super important. However, it would be nice to be able to get a Crypto.com card using Bitcoin or some other crypto. All things being said, there are a host of features and top-notch functionality in this app, and I'm sure many of you will absolutely love it. I have to hand it to the chaps at Crypto.com. The interfaces are super slick and straightforward to use. Oh yes, I nearly forgot to mention where you get that juicy 50% Bitcoin discount or the 25% off engine. So, here goes. If you use the app to transfer funds to the Crypto.com exchange and log in on the Crypto.com website, you'll see the Syndicate tab. There is basically $2 million in Bitcoin available at a 50% discount and a quarter of a million in engine coin available at a 25% discount. To get that discounted Bitcoin allocation, you just need to be one of the first 25,000 users placing your Bitcoin subscription on the Syndicate platform at 6 a.m. UTC on the 30th of June. No CRO staking is required here at all. However, for that discounted engine coin, you'll need to stake CRO on the exchange. The more you stake, the higher the max allocation of discounted crypto you can buy. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in getting some crypto at bargain basement prices. Now, I know there was a ton to take in there, so thanks for sticking with me. I do want to hear your thoughts though. What do you think is the best feature of the Crypto.com app? Any questions for me? Feel free to fire them in the comments. Finally, thank you for watching. Don't forget to moon up those likes on the way out and subscribe if you want to see me make more videos. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. But honestly, I have so much more that I want to share.
Stuff that I couldn't really fit in this video, sadly. This is exactly why I've started a weekly newsletter. It's basically a compilation of all the interesting content that may have flown under your radar. News, reviews, analysis, and hot market tips. Want to join? Well, don't delay. Just scoot on over to the description where you'll find a link to my sign-up form. There you can enter your email address, hit submit, and hey presto, you are a Coin Bureau insider. My next newsletter is being worked on as we speak, one you won't want to miss. See you next time, chaps.